unholy nexus of media, politics and business interest. One businessman controls 70 media houses. Use of sedition, anti-terrorism laws to suppress media. Most TV channels openly advocating hatred towards Muslims. Welcome to Edina.com. Reporters Without Borders, an international non-profit organization, has released in its word ranking of countries according to their press freedom for the year 2024. In the index, India ranks at number 149, lagging behind Pakistan, Bhutan and Sri Lanka. Although India's ranking has improved by two numbers since last year, it is only because other countries have fared worse. In its report, Reporters Without Borders has highlighted violence against journalists, highly concentrated media ownership and political alignment, which is putting press freedom in crisis in the world's largest democracy, which is ruled since 2014 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The report is highly critical of India's media and says that India's media has fallen into an unofficial state of emergency since Narendra Modi came to power in 2014 after which the media has formed a cozy relationship with BJP and the big families that dominate the media, like the Reliance Industries. The report talks about media ownership by big corporates and NDTV takeover by Gautam Adani. It also mentions Reliance Industries owner Mukesh Ambani as a personal friend of the Prime Minister, who owns more than 70 media outlets, which is followed by at least 80 crores Indians. The report also questions the rise of Godi Media, that is the lap dog media, which works as pro-BGP propaganda machine. The report also raises many safety concerns. It talks about harassment faced by journalists who are critical of PM Modi and BJP by BJP-backed trolls. In the last 10 years, the Indian government has been using colonial era laws like sedition, defamation and anti-state activities to suppress media. Anti-terrorism laws are increasingly used against journalists. PM Modi has also introduced several new laws that will give government extraordinary power to control the media by censoring news and silencing critics. Most TV channels also devote a significant portion of their airtime on religious shows that sometimes openly advocate hatred for Muslims. With an average of three or four journalists being killed in connection with their work every year, India is one of the world's most dangerous countries for the media. Journalists who are critical of the government are routinely subjected to online harassment, intimidation, threats and physical attack. They are also the victim of violence from police officers and political activists as well as corrupt local officials. Proponents of Hindutva call for revenge against such journalists and brand them traitors and anti-nationals. Terrifying coordinated campaigns of hatred and calls for murder are conducted on social media, especially violent against women journalists whose personal data is also divulged. The situation also remains very worrisome for Kashmir where reporters are often harassed by police and paramilitary with some being subjected to so-called provisional detention for several years. Scandinavian countries like Norway, Denmark and Sweden are at the top position in this ranking. The report also gives a special mention to the war in Gaza that is marked by a record number of violations against journalists and the media since October 2023. More than 100 Palestinian reporters have been killed by the Israeli Defense Forces, including at least 22 in the course of their work. Overall, press freedom around the world is being threatened by the very people who should be the guarantors, which is the political authorities. Reporters Without Borders sees a worrying decline in the support and respect for media autonomy and the increase in pressure from the state or other political actors. This finding is based on the fact that of the five indicators used to compile the ranking, it is the political indicator that has fallen most. The index is worrisome as more than half of the world population goes to poll in 2024. States and other political forces are playing a decreasing role in protecting press freedom. Matashto Vishesha video kalanu nodalu, matu hosa video kalabake tiriyalu. Edina.com YouTube channel subscribe madi, matu bell icon click madi.